It feels so weird. I, so weird. Okay, guys. Hey, it is um, currently Friday. Here is in a early bun because yeah. I got tired of pressing it. But um, I'm in the airport, y'all. Okay, anyways, let me explain to y'all real quick because I haven't came on the vlog. Hey. Like I said, it's Friday, it is December 10th, and it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. We've been here at the airport since 5 o'clock in the morning, and we have not left anywhere. We booked um, JetBlue. It seemed good, everything seemed good, everything seemed like it was going at, um, as scheduled. Let me just tell y'all the, the story real quick. I'll probably explain it again. When there's not so much noise i'm in the delta sky club right now but let me just explain to y'all right now what's going on we're in the airport and our original flight was with JetBlue, and we were supposed to depart at like six something we never did um we sat there for so long and then they finally told us there's a maintenance issue with the plane and it's going to take about 45 minutes and so we're like great because we're already um late we're already running behind because we when we booked JetBlue, we booked the flight to fort lauderdale we're supposed to be in miami but for some reason they booked the flight to land in fort lauderdale and we were um so fort lauderdale is like an hour away from miami so we were already like you know late for the our appointment and then to find out JetBlue had issues, so we're going to be even later, we just booked the flight with Delta. Granted, we're still going to be late, y'all. We're still going to be late to our appointment. But um, at least we're flying straight into Miami instead of flying into Fort Lauderdale. So I did contact them and apologize because I did not want to be late to my dental appointment. Like, I did not want to be late to this appointment. So I just feel bad because I'm just like, dang, I was not expecting this to happen, but everything happens for a reason, you know, God always makes everything happen for a reason, so we're currently waiting for our next flight with Delta, and we'll be going to Miami, but I just wanted to update you guys real quick and say hi, um, and I will record more footage once we land and stuff. I can't feel my tongue, my cheeks, or my lips. Like, y'all see how I'm talking? <sighs> y'all, that was, that was, that was a lot to walk through. I feel stupid talking to y'all like this, so I'm just checking in because I think it's a record, the actual procedure, but <laughs> it was not. Oh my god, my lashes. It was not fun. Like, this is. Is this from. I, I gotta talk to y'all when I'm not numb so I can explain to y'all, but it feels so weird. I, so weird. Okay, this is how my teeth look before my veneers. They've been shaped. They won't look like this, y'all. Don't be scared. They won't look like this when I'm done. Oh my gosh. I feel so weird. What? You know the shade that you want me to do? You you want it white? You want the same shade that you have right now? Uh-huh. I, I don't. You know I smile? 
my smile is not big to me. So I don't want big teeth though. And it looks like it is like, you know, okay. kind of like the shape that my teeth are now. Sunday. I don't even remember where I left off at um, the vlog because I completely passed out yesterday. I was so tired from traveling, from the dentist, from just overall everything because I went through a lot and I was super tired. It was just too much for me. So yesterday I didn't even vlog at all. I actually just went ahead and relaxed and you know just relaxed so i want to give you guys a quick update because i'm about to actually edit this vlog today is sunday and i have to edit so first things first my teeth are not done my teeth are not done yet babe and i went through our um first stage because it's broken down into three appointments and my teeth are not done so i have to disclaim that because um i know you guys see part of it done but it's not fully done so yeah that's one thing and two i'm talking funny i have to get used to my mouth so i am talking funny because i have to get used to it but i decided to come on here and share with you guys my experience that i uh, went through so far and answer a couple of questions because i did get a lot of questions on instagram um a lot of people asking me different things and hitting me up so i wanted to go ahead and share with you guys some of the um things that i'm going through or have experienced so i'm just jumping right on into it because we have to edit this vlog you guys so i'm jumping right on into it i'm going to give you guys a general information just the basic information of everything and then i'll go into detail so what i'm getting done i'm getting my porcelain veneers done like i said it's broken down into three appointments your first appointment is the prepping so yet they have to prep your teeth and then the second appointment is the actual cementation so they're my when i go back they're going to actually put my veneers on the third is a follow-up to see how they're feeling any little last things that they need to do and that's it where did i get it done miami i went to miami to get my teeth done but and the last question is the cost because i got that question a lot how much does it cost how much does it cost porcelain veneers are extremely expensive they're a huge investment and depending on where you go um they can range from nine thousand to twenty thousand I paid between nine to ten thousand. That was my range. So, yes, extremely expensive. They do offer financing though, so you can finance, and the, it is a twelve months no interest financing too at that. So you are able to finance at my particular place that I went to. They were able to finance. Uh, they had the option available. Where'd I go? I went to Smiles Dental Center in Miami. I will have their information linked below. I found them on Instagram last year and I'm just now going through the process this year so yeah I took my time I scouted out different dentist office I got different quotes I compared who gave me more in that price so yeah I find my final decision was smile dental center so that's just the basic information of what I'm getting done and all that so I'll just go into detail so my first appointment um is your longest appointment it's three hours long 
um it's a lot going on in that appointment so like i said i got the porcelain veneers now the reason why i got porcelain is because my teeth are really bad i will insert a picture right here i'll keep these pictures throughout me explaining stuff but my teeth were bad basically composite um resin is for people who have essentially good teeth already you know they just have minor um imperfections like a crack or a, a small space a gap something like that but overall their teeth are healthy they they look good and they just want to spruce them up more right here at the top i have composite bonding for my temporary veneers so that's what they use if you are getting composite but i didn't get that because my teeth were in bad shape not just the gaps but overall underneath everything was just bad basically my whole top row you could have taken out you could have pulled all my teeth and started over really because they were just damaged i only could get the porcelain veneers like i said porcelain veneers are way more expensive they are more sturdy they do last longer and um yeah they they are different materials so those are the difference between the two so when i got there they took our you know paperwork and ids and you know all your like basic health information filled out your forms consent forms um breakdown of everything they took a million pictures of you <laughs> they took a million pictures of your um before we also got a deep cleaning of our teeth and we also got work done so you have to get any type of work done before you get your veneer so if you need any cavities filled if you need a root canal if you need any teeth pulled anything that you need to get done you have to get that done prior to your veneers you can either have them do it or you can go to your general dentist and do it so um with me i got my x-rays done. like i said i got deep cleaning and they went ahead and filled my two cavities. I got 20, I'm getting 20 teeth done. So the average human has 32 teeth in her mouth, right? You have three molars on each side, three on the side, three on the side, three on the side, three on the side, side. So 12 molars all together. And I don't want veneers on those teeth because those are my chewing teeth. You know, your molars are your biggest teeth. They're your back teeth. They chew and break down everything. So I don't want to spend money getting those done because I want to keep those and make sure that they can break down my food i use them to chew with all that they don't do your molars but all your other teeth they do which i thought was a very good deal because a lot of other people only do six teeth um you know nine teeth like whatever but i'm getting 20 teeth done i got 20 teeth done so that was another reason why i picked this dentist office because i thought 20 teeth is good you know so they do basically my whole mouth other than my molars so yeah i got my x-rays my overall exam they go over your treatment plan and what they're gonna do um i had two cavities so i filled so i got those two cavities filled because my cavities were in a, in a place where my teeth were going to be done if i had cavities in my molars i could have not gotten my cavities filled right then and there you know they could have told me to do it later on down the road but because my cavities were in a spot where i was getting my teeth done i had to get them filled right then and there after your cleaning and x-rays and everything the real work begins and you guys i'm gonna let y'all know i actually cried <laughs> i don't cry you know i i can take a lot of pain i've had a natural birth and three stitches like i could take some pain y'all but i think i was more so nervous because when they gave me my anesthesia they do they do use local anesthesia you do not he put to sleep someone asked me that i was awake the entire time i drifted into sleep um a couple of times but it's very uncomfortable to sleep when your mouth is wide open you know what i mean like your mouth has to be wide open for them to work with and then they also put like a little block for you to bite on so that your mouth can stay open so it's very hard to fall asleep like that and um i drifted off to sleep a couple of times but overall i was awake the entire time i did not feel anything but they did use local anesthesia to numb me and they numbed me in six spots so right here right here and right here i was numbed so i had what i had six shots one two three it hurt extremely bad okay because they used the topical to numb you first but the um but the needle that went right here just it, that was the one that did it for me. These other ones didn't hurt that bad, but this one right here, I, it just pinched me so bad that my eyes just started instantly watering and then I actually started crying because I got nervous. That was the only time like I was scared and then also the other time I was scared is when I started shaking. So because 
Um, I got the local anesthesia. I had a reaction and I started shaking, which means I started getting the chills. I didn't even realize I was shaking. I just saw my body like going like this. And she was just like, oh, mama, you're shaking. It's okay. It's from the um, anesthesia. So they gave me a blanket and then they gave me a blanket. I ended up calming down and my body stopped shaking eventually but that was like really scary because i'm like what is happening to me like why am i shaking but that is just a side effect of some anesthesia to some people not everyone ha it happens to but it happens to me i think someone asked me did they shave my teeth yes and no um they did not shave they they do not shave your teeth down to little daggers i know some people have probably seen pictures of people getting their teeth done and they're like little sharp daggers this dental office does not do that they literally go off of your natural shape of your teeth they want your veneers to be as natural as possible so they do not shave your teeth down into little daggers yes they shape your teeth and file it to make sure that it's all one size all one length um i don't know if you guys remember but i had one tooth in the middle that was like taller than all my other ones so it just like stuck out they shaved that down to make it look all the same height so that my tooth is not just stuck up you know and i was hoping they did that because you know why would i want my tooth still taller than the other one so they do shape and contour your teeth but they do not shave it down into little daggers they keep it as natural as possible i also received gum contouring which does not hurt while you're getting it done because you are numb but after baby it hurt <laughs> okay i still i'm okay right now but my gums were so sore they were so sore and gum contouring is basically the same thing that they do with your teeth um they contour your gums to make sure your gums are even make sure they're all aligned make sure they all look the same height same everything like they're making your perfect smile they're giving you a million dollar smile baby so they're making sure everything is all straight and aligned in the same size basically so that's what gum contouring is it's so weird the way they do it because they use this little needle thing that burns basically they melt down the gum layer or something I, I don't know it's weird but basically that's what they're doing because i saw so much smoke coming from my gums and it, it looked like a little torch she was using to like laser off any excess gum um gums and stuff so yeah that's what she was doing when they go over your treatment plan they let you know what they're going to do so i also will be receiving a bridge i don't know if you guys know what that is but basically when you have like a tooth missing like i have a tooth missing right here they're going to build a bridge meaning like they're going to take a fake tooth basically and put it on in this face and connect it to my tooth that's already in the back a bridge i don't know if that makes sense i don't know if that makes any sense to you guys but if you guys know what a bridge is that's what i'm getting i'm getting a bridge it's a good way to fill in spaces in your teeth without having to like extract any new teeth or get a crown i'm not getting any crown i'm not getting any implants you know like an implant is when they screw put a screw in your teeth uh gums and then they screw a tooth in. like i'm not getting that i'm just getting a bridge but yeah um after your teeth are formed your gums are formed your gums are contoured your teeth are contoured they're clean um everything is like perfect they take a they take your impressions now your impressions depending on who you are may be fun maybe not um it's I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys all had impressions before if you went to the dentist but it's this alginate it's called alginate and it's this gunk that they this putty it's just putty alginate it's this putty that they used on a tray and it's a lot you know it has to be a lot and they put it on top of your um teeth and they hold it there they hold it until it gets hard so you're you're sitting there for a little minute with this like tray in your mouth and sometimes like the bottom ones didn't bother me but i was gagging really bad when it came to the top row because it's a lot and the alginate was kind of like going down my throat and i could feel it and that just kind of like made me gag so that was like bad i didn't throw up but i was going to you know i had to tell her like to stop because um the stuff kept like going down my throat and it was at my tonsil and they were trying to get it out i remember at one time they took like these little tonsil things like tongs and like snatched it out of my throat that made me gag it was just like bad they had to, i actually had to do my um molding a couple of times because i just kept gagging the shots and the impressions were the worst part for me their customer service was amazing guys like even prior to me living in atlanta and then being in miami they were offering to facetime me like they were like yeah and they have extremely good reviews on 
Google as well. And their Instagram is really good too. So hands down, my experience so far is very good with them. And I'm very satisfied. Someone asked me on my Instagram, am I satisfied so far? Very, because they're very informative. They answer all your questions, even after hours. They gave me their personal number to um, text them if I have any questions. They had car service. I'm pretty sure you guys saw that clip, but they um, offer car service from the airport. And it's not just like some little Uber, like it's like literally a nice van with wine glasses, snacks, drinks, like it's a nice little, it had a TV, like it was a nice little vibe. So AAA plus for them. The last part after they do like your whole mold, you get your temporaries. You are only given temporaries at the top. So this is what you guys see. These are temporaries. They're not like, they can't come off. They're hard as a rock. They're like, just like my real teeth, but they're just to protect my teeth because my my first layer of my enamel is gone. My first layer of my enamel are, is gone. So my teeth are very sensitive. They're extremely sensitive. Now, if they fall off, that's fine. The doctors actually told us they prefer the, they prefer this composite bonding to fall off because when you get your real veneers, it's gonna come off anyway. It's gonna come off. So this is just to protect it for now, your teeth. So the discomforts that I am experiencing, like I said, is my teeth are very sensitive. I can't chew on this side. The side that I'm getting the bridge on, I can't really chew on that. I can only chew on this side. Like this side is better for me to chew on. This side is still very sore and um, I've had some bleeding and stuff. So it's, it's just healing. But this side is coming along. I can chew easily on this side. Um, my bottom teeth are not done. You guys can see the difference. I don't know if you could tell, but I can tell. Like these are more yellower and they are not natural teeth, but they're yellower and they don't have any um, composite resin on it. Um, also like right here, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have cavities. Um, that were filled with metal and I'm getting those covered in white because when I smile I do not want any black you know like blackness in my mouth so that's getting covered they offer that as well um yeah so that's it the first night I didn't eat anything um not much because it my mouth was just in pain we are put on a soft food diet so we can't really eat anything hard and it it's already uncomfortable to eat anything hard anyway so we are on a soft food diet oh I talk funny so like my F's and like my tongue I kind of have a slight lisp and that's because my uh, what is this called my teeth right here I'm getting used to the composite that's on it it's just temporary though they're not here to stay they're just temporary they will come off when I get my permanent veneer permanent veneers take about 15 days to get done so we will be going back to Miami to get the permanent veneers in a couple weeks. But yeah, overall, I am satisfied. I love my experience. Um, they calmed me down. They talked to me. They were so sweet. Those ladies, those girls, everybody was so sweet. It was just a great experience. They weren't rude at all. They understand I was uncomfortable. Like, you know, some people, when you go to the dentist, you're uncomfortable, but the doctor is kind of mad at you. Like they're getting agitated because they're like, okay, look, I, I know you're uncomfortable. Let me get my work done, you know? They were not like that. They were like, okay, it's okay. And they were Spanish, you know, all of them were Spanish. And they were like, mama, it's okay, mommy, it's okay. And I was just like, okay. I'm extremely satisfied with them and I cannot wait to get my permanent veneers. I cannot wait to show you guys my permanent veneers. This is part one, so part two will be up soon. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to come on here to somewhat share my new smile and share with you guys my experience at Smiles Dental Center. I'm excited, you guys. It's just something I wanted for the longest time. And it's not just the cosmetic um, part of it. My teeth were actually in bad shape. You know, like they actually needed fillings. They needed so much stuff done. So I'm just, it just feels so good to get that done. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm just slapping on veneers on top of bad teeth. Like my teeth were taken care of first and now like they're starting to get their veneers. So this is a big deal to me and I'm super, super, super grateful and thankful for going through this journey. I'm so excited. But if you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you'll be alerted whenever I post a new video and yeah guys thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next vlog bye